And our uh, final speaker is Daniela. Thank you very much for being here. My presentation is not going to be as exciting as what you heard so far. I'm here to talk about what the library has to offer in relation to uh, standards. We, the library is supporting your, uh, the faculty teaching, your education, and what we can do is bring our small contribution with uh, showing you about uh, standards. <laughs> we have a guide. Uh, you've seen it, this uh, web address all over the place. Uh, we uh, have information about locating standards on all our engineering uh, research guides. And also, we mention standards in all, all our uh, library instruction sessions for engineering classes. Uh, what we can do is not much because, as you heard my question, standards can be very expensive and the licensing are very restrictive when it's about libraries. And so we do the best we can. And uh, also it's very difficult to uh, predict what standards are going to be used on campus, so what standards are you going to use? However, based on what we learned so far, we uh, have the AACM books, standard books in print. Why in print and not online? We hear this complaint all the time because we cannot afford them. <laughs> uh, we buy them the whole set about every five years. However, we have a source you'll see later on. If in between a standard, an ASTM standard is being retracted and you need the newer version, we still can get it for you. It's just not from this. We also have access to IEEE standards through IEEE Explore. And uh, we know those are used. And the tool I was talking about is IHS Standards Expert. And both Mosan and Janet can witness that they've been using this. Uh, in fact, Mosan was the first one uh, to use it on campus. We even didn't announce it. And he said, I need the standards. I said, OK, test it for us. Uh, and we, it worked fine. Uh, for Janet, she wanted uh, a standard that had two parts, both of them hundreds of dollars. And we, she didn't know which part she needs. I worked with IHS, and we figured out which one is the one she needed, and we ordered just that. So we saved some money there. Um, it is to be used for any other standards. So anything you may need, you can log in to create an account, log in, order yourself. We monitor it. We don't want to order ASTM standards just because you are lazy and you don't want to come to the library or IEEE standards. But other than that, we'll accept everything. Uh, and again, how to create this account and how to use the website, the, this database, you have a guide. We, we like these guides a lot, right? <laughs> um, for help, you can contact uh, my colleague Brian Gray, that's uh, the other engineering librarian, or you can contact me. We can work with you. I'm sure many of you are part of, uh, I don't know, engineering student groups, and you do all kind of stuff, cool stuff. You need standards, please use them. Or you uh, participate, you want to be participating in this uh, competition that these uh, standard organizations have been talking about. We can help you with those standards. Find them, and that's it. Find them. You use them. <laughs> uh, and I guess that's it. And I just want to thank everybody for being here. <laughs>